Hey, how's it going everybody? This is my Mag DK PDE build for the No Proc Meta and Cyrodiil. Let's get right into it. Here's the unbuffed stat sheet on the back part. And now the front. Go ahead and buff. There's the back part. Yeah. 64 points in the mat. I'm a Dark Owl for this build. I'd recommend Brett and Heil for Argonian, probably all good choices. We're using Smoke Bear Haunch on the food. I have plenty of resources, so I'm going to focus on recovery. This will give me a max health, health recovery, stamina mag recovery. And I'm also using the Mage Mundus. Get into the sets. I'm using Crafty on the front part, Inferno Staff with the Flame Enchant, Nurn Home. We're stacking a lot of mag on this build. And then I'm also back barring crafty. I want the max mag on the back bar as well. Um, I'm running infused axe with poison enchant and then an impen shield. I have poisons on here just because. I have a medium piece of dummy hoss impen with a triglyph enchant. It's going to give me a line of stam and mag. And then I'm using five pieces of amberplasm. This is a light armor mag DK build. I'm going to reinforce with a health enchant. For the shoulder, we're using a heavy chewed on impen with the health enchant, it's going to give you more armor. And then for the waist, we're using impen mag, sturdy mag on the gloves, impen health on the breeches, reinforced mag on the shoes. And then for the jewelry, we're doing three pieces of arcane spell damage or crafty. Go ahead and get into the skills. On the front bar, we're using flame lash. Choking Talons, Engulfing Flames, Elemental Drain, Fossilize, and then for the ultimate we're using Ferocious Sleep. And then on the back bar, we're using Carterize, Coagulating Blood, Degeneration, that's going to give us our major sorcery, Volatile Armor, Dragon Fire Scale, and then for the ultimate, we're using Spell Wall. Get into the champion points, we'll start with the green tree. What I have slotted is Gifted Rider, Lore Mount, Liquid Efficiency, Rationer. Here's an overlay of where I put my points. Make sure to put 50 points in the breakfall for more reduced fall damage. Get into the blue tree. Using Thermaturge, Enduring Resolve, Biting Aura, Deadly Aim. All three of these apply to my Mag DK. We're doing all these kind of damage right here. Crit Chance, put 40 points into it. It's going to affect our heals and our damage. I put 30 points into Blessed for more healing done. 40 points into Max Dam, 40 points into Max Mag. And the extended might tree up a 40 in the piercing, 40 in flawless ritual, 30 in war mage, staving death. I put 10 in quick recovery, 16 in hardy. Should probably go up to 20. I don't have enough champion points yet. And then 10 in elemental agus. And enduring resolve. It's, I feel like this is really important on mag DK. You know, this is a light armor build. Any amount of reduced damage that we can get is going to be awesome. Go into the red tree. What I have slotted is Juggernaut, Rejuvenation, Ironclad, and Boundless Vitality. Now, Juggernaut is really strong on Light Armor Mag DK. Again, it's going to be more reduced damage. I'm using a Move Pots, so every time I pop in a Move Pot, this is going to give me that 10% damage reduction. I like using Boundless Vitality for more health on the build, and then of course Rejuvenation, more recovery. That's just going to make my recovery stupid high, especially with the food I'm using and Amberplasm. And then Ironclad, more armor. You know, we're in light armor. We want to try to be as tanky as possible. Here's where I have my other points at. I have 40 into Defiance, 45 into Tumbling, 50 Mystic Tenacity, 40 into Hero's Vigor, 10 into Sprinter, 8 into Hasty. Using Sword and Board on the back bar, so I want a cost reduction when I block. I'm a mag character, not a stamp character. 40 in the Tireless Guardian, 15 in Nimble Protector, 
45 into fortification. All right, that's my MagDK PvP build. Leave any comments below or questions. I'll try to answer them the best I can. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next video.